Queensbridge is crazy. Turn the wrong corner and you will die. I was not going to be a drug dealer. I'm here to play basketball. I never questioned Ryan's ability. Every single day, I questioned where he was mentally. He had demons. He had a disease he couldn't handle. I figured out that I need help. Who comes back from what we dismiss as crazy and rescues himself? When you hear the word Queensbridge, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Man, when I hear the word Queensbridge, a lot of things, man. Just like good, bad, you know, like, you know, Nas, Mob Deep, um, Capone. Because that's like Queensbridge rapping music. MC Shan, Tragedy, Roxanne, Shantae, uh, Kwan Mega. That's a big part yeah. of your upbringing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nature. You know, it's like really amazing. I got stories with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> So it's, it's really crazy as a kid. You're a fan. This is unbelievable. Yeah. You know, you see Nas walk through. You see Kwan Mega. You say hi to Mom D. That's the record. This shit yeah. is unbelievable. So I'm like, how did y'all do this? How did y'all make it? This is crazy. So I have so much, I had so much, I see inspiration every day. That's, that's, that's music <laughs> royalty too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm a huge fan. That's why I play the music. I'm a huge fan of the music part mm -hmm. of Queensbridge and you know, I, and that's why I rap. People are like, why, why you rap? Come on, that's a dumbass question. It's where you come from. Yeah. Right. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. I want to be like that, right? right. I want to mm -hmm. be like, nah. So I wanna... And then I'm like, my family was selling crack, you know, in the same floor with Havoc used to live at, like right next door. And Havoc come up. Had Mob D. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, it's plenty of times we was in the crib, po po coming. Don't say nothing. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So. There was a lot of shit like that. I was gonna, I was gonna flush the drug down the toilet one time. My cousin said, "You better not." <laughs> you can't take that hell. Yeah, so I was like, "This is crazy right now." It was a lot of shit like that, you know. That my my older brother went to jail ten years drug trafficking right when I was going to college. Yeah, he was super smart. He got a company called Leafy Run Logistics right now. Ten years, but he's a brainiac. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's crazy. You know, my other son's a computer science developer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so I knew he was smart, but. Moving drugs on a Greyhound bus. You know what I mean? 10 years, no, no, no negotiations. <laughs> no negotiations. <laughs> he, he was, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was, that was, I was, we knew we was going somewhere, and I knew I was going to need my brother with me. Mm -hmm. He's smart, uh, and mm -hmm. I'm wild. Yeah, when he went to jail, I just had to latch on to other people. You know what I mean? But they're my people. Like, I mm -hmm. really feel like we had a great time. <laughs> We had a great fucking time. What did all that teach you? Like, how did what did it shape you? What did it you, when you started going to these other cities? You're in Cream Bridge, and then you start. You need your basketball talent starts taking off, and you start traveling the world. Like, what did it, yeah. Queensbridge teach you to be ready to take on the rest of the world? You know what? It taught always a lot of other people because, like, right before I was going to um, uh, high school, I was going to my brother's school. My brother had beef. I looked like my brother. I'm be the same height at that time. I go to school. These niggas run up on me, Latinos. So I'm. <laughs> I'm not, I'm hitting niggas, you know what I'm saying? Running to the principal's office. I'm like, oh wow, this is crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, I, they said, when you come out, we gonna fuck you up, right? So I, I stayed in school till like 5 p.m. I ain't leave. <laughs> Got out of there, went home, told my parents what happened. I didn't want to call my parents because my dad had come up there. Shut Honestly, it, my dad shut it all down. Shut it all down. And I seen him do it to drug dealers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dad, please don't do that to him because he's dangerous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, like, I got out of there, but I'm like, shit, I'm playing ball in Riverside Church. Eric Barkley, yeah. Kobe. Mm -hmm. And they just got me up. Reggie Jesse. Then they gave me a scholarship to where Shamgar went, LaSalle Academy. For four years, I ain't had nothing. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens, you know, that's Queensbridge. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like talk, about, talk a little about the church team, though. The Riverside Church team was dope. Lamar Odom. Mm -hmm. um, when did you meet L.O.? I met L.O. He was 11 years old. I met him in D.S. Park in Woodside, where Dave East crew is from, yeah. his people's is from. Yeah. And that's a, and then we had like Raheem Johnson. Raheem Johnson was a beast, uh, you know, at that time. Yeah. Lamar was on Raheem Johnson team. They Raheem Johnson was better than us. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Lamar was probably Lamar would probably say the same thing. Yeah. Raheem Johnson's better Raheem Johnson, Shea Cotton. It, mm -hmm. That's that yeah. level. Yeah, yeah. We all know about that. Raheem that was, Raheem was, you know, was in and out. Guy, you know, was Kevin out, Morris with you? Who? Kevin Morris played with you? He was a one year older. One year older. He was young, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we had a hell of a team. Reggie Jesse? Reggie Jesse, Vasil, yeah, that's him off. Hey, mm -hmm. remember Vasil? Y'all had a mob. You, you know Vasil. From the McDonald's game. Yeah, you yeah. know Vasil. But y'all had a mob at the church. I always tell people. Mom, Elton Brand. Mm. All, all on the same team. 
That was unreal, bro. It was a crazy team. It was a pro team. I didn't know Listen to me, bro. Yeah, I didn't know EB was on the team. We like, man, what is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on, man. Put our shit back on, man. We out of here. I went to the beat them, dog. Yeah, we, we, grown was being, we was being, we was being about 50, 60 in the championship was, game every, unreal, every night, every time. It was, Anybody it was, beat y'all? Just Baron Davis' team. Mm, who was, who was on BD's team? Jaron Collins. They yeah. beat us by 20. Yeah. They smacked y'all, huh? Yeah. And, but we beat them in the championship game. Okay, you got them back. By 20. <laughs> now, they, 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 same, <laughs> same tournament? The same tournament. That's crazy. <laughs> That's squad, though. Y'all squad, tournament. Man. But Baron Davis got a different story. That's my brother. So he let, let him tell his story. Yeah, we, we ain't happy. <laughs> yeah, we ain't happy. Yeah, that's my brother. I ain't gonna lie. We ain't happy. Yeah. Okay.